Hi, my name is Kalisha, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make sous vide deli style roast beef. The first thing you're going to need is the beef. So in this video, I'm going to use a um, bottom round roast that is almost seven pounds. So after I take it out the package, I'm going to um, sprinkle it with this Quebec beef spice that I got from Penzi's and I'll put a link to this in the description box so you can check it out below. If you don't have this beef spice you can use something else called uh, Montreal steak seasoning or you can just make a blend of your own um, spices if you want to just be sure to use plenty of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, um, you can even add in thyme, rosemary, whatever you want. You want to make sure that the beef is covered with the seasoning on all sides. And it may look like there's a lot of seasoning going in here, but it's really not when you think about it. Um, I probably used at least a quarter cup of seasoning but you really need to use a lot because this is a large piece of meat. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is vacuum seal it and you can click on the link above and that is a review of the exact vacuum sealer that I'm using. I happen to find this one at Aldi. You can purchase vacuum sealers online because Aldi does not carry them all the time. They usually um, have them on sale maybe once or twice a year so I was able to pick this up and it was actually marked down to only $15 so I got a good deal now that the meat has finished sealing I'm just going to double check to make sure that the seal is nice and tight so we don't have any leakage during our cooking process because I am going to be cooking this for a full day. So my circulator is set to 187 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just going to put the beef into that water bath and leave it there for about 5 or 10 minutes just to kill off any surface bacteria. So that way um, the meat doesn't smell bad when you um, finish cooking it. Now I'm just going to take out the water after it was left in the higher temperature. I'm going to take out some of the water and add some ice so that I can rapidly chill the water bath down to 140 degrees. Because I want to cook this the, the rest of the time. So I'm going to be cooking it for 24 hours at 140 degrees so I just added ice to it so it can get down to 140 a lot faster and if you'll notice I set um, my circulator to 26 hours although I'm only cooking it for 24 hours I just set it to 26 hours just in case um, I'm not able to take the meat out right away because this particular circulator, it does not continue to run after the cooking time is over. It just shuts off. So I wanted to be able to shut it off myself. So I always add like a few extra hours depending on what I'm cooking. So now I'm just unplugging it um, after I take the meat out. And I'm going to dump out the water and then add ice to the the um, container and just so I can chill down the meat all the way so this is how I'm going to cool it down all the way it would take forever if I just left it on the counter or put it in the refrigerator so I'm just going to chill it down rapidly with an ice bath now that the meat is all cooled off I'm just going to cut a corner off of the bag and pour out all the juices that have accumulated so you can heat these up later if you want to make a french dip sandwich so um, i got about two cups of juice from this roast Now it is time to slice. So I'm just going to cut the bag open the rest of the way and take out the um, beef roast. 
So if you, as you can see, it got some nice color on it, even though I didn't sear it beforehand. If you want to sear it beforehand, you can do that, or you can actually sear it at this point. But since I'm just going to slice it for sandwiches, and this is kind of my first time doing this, um, I'm just going to go ahead and slice it. So I'm just using a sharp chef's knife to slice um, as thinly as possible. If you have a meat slicer at home, then lucky you, go ahead and use that so you can get nice um, thinly shaved slices of roast beef. This sous vide deli style roast beef is still nice and rosy in the middle. But if you want to cook yours um, a little bit more than what I've done here, then you can always adjust the temperature to be higher so that it's not as pink. It's just a personal preference. And when it's done and all sliced up, you'll be able to make nice sandwiches, French dips. You can cut it in thicker slices or cut it in cubes to make stir fries, beef stews, and a lot more. If you like this recipe, then please consider subscribing and be sure to check out my sous vide getting started guide. It's a free PDF download and I'll include the link right here so you can check that out and download it so you can know all of the equipment and tools that you need to get started cooking with sous vide. See you in the next video. Bye.